Alright guys and welcome to another video. Today is making a little bit of a quick discussion kind of podcast video talking about why I'm deciding to return to Classic, why I took a break, and a little insight into the future content coming on this channel. So for the very few people who watch my extremely scarce live streams, which hopefully will pick up soon a little bit, you probably know that I haven't really played Classic since late February, so a good four to five months I've not really played. I honestly didn't play Blackwing Lair long enough to actually get any gear from it, so that's about the time that I quit. And the main reason why I decided to take a break is, I think first of all, just getting burnt out with the game. You know, I think I probably, well, I played it since the release, which is August, August to February, you know, that's quite a few months to play the same game quite solidly for hours every week, playing the same class of about three different spells. I think inevitably you are going to get a little bit bored, and I simply think that's what happened. I think it's, it is good to take a break from, from World of Warcraft in all honesty. I normally only play it for a few consecutive months, even when I'm playing retail or any rendition of World of Warcraft, before I do take a break, and I'll always return later on. I think if, you, if I played it for the entire time, so the entire 10 months that Classic Wild has been released, I'd be even more bored and I would just probably absolutely hate the game. Around about this time I also moved back in with my dad, and my dad's house is only a stone's throw away from the gym, so what I decided to do is start a really intense training and diet regime to lose weight, and basically just pick up my fitness again and obviously get a lot of gains from the gym back after my really kind of severe finger injury which took me off the gym for a very long period of time. So the amount of time I actually spend training, eating, cooking and all that kind of thing is probably the equal amount of time to an actual part-time job. So my so my fitness and my health routine, whatever you want to call it, does actually take up quite a lot of my time each week and I didn't really feel like I would have enough time anyway to commit to playing World of Warcraft very frequently. And I have actually ended up losing a good eight pounds ever since I, you know, quit World of Warcraft basically, so that's obviously a good thing. Endless WoW also came out at the same time and that's another thing that really deterred me from playing because I started playing that casually for a couple of months too. And then after I got bored of Hillian Endless I played a lot of Witcher 3, and I mean a lot. And then I switched on to playing The Witcher 1. I also play a lot of Battle for Middle Earth 2 online as well. So, yeah, I did a lot of things, you know, during lockdown to just kind of keep me busy. And I didn't really want to return to Classic WoW. I did try and return because I didn't actually technically unsubscribe to the game. But I couldn't really fit. Because I'd taken such a long time off, I was obviously, my guild obviously replaced me. They replaced my raid slot. And the guild, my guild leader basically told me he doesn't really have a place for me in the in the raid team, so that discouraged me from playing even more. And then I, I have obviously decided to return now, and I've decided to get into a new guild who actually do need a raid spot. So I'm in a new guild now called Asian. Pretty cool guild, pretty friendly guild, I really like this guild. We also got Thunder through the other night for one of our rogues, so that's definitely like, I don't know, for some reason it's just really pumped me to, to play the game more. Because it was a pretty cool thing to, you know, just do at a guild, a pretty cool community event. And it's just helped me, it's just helped remind me of what really makes Classic WoW stand out as such a, such a good game, really. But anyway, my plans from here on are obviously to get ready for an AQ40. You may think, oh, you're, you're way too late to get ready for AQ40. Uh, not really. <laughs> because on my server, we are kind of struggling with the war effort a little bit. There is an immense amount of resources still to obtain in order to open the gates of Anchorage. So I reckon we have quite a few, at least a couple weeks to maybe a month to prepare. So my plans are to get as much nature resistance gear as humanly possible. I've already crafted all of the chimeric gear because I didn't get rid of leather working and I'm definitely thankful for that because it was very easy for me to go into Winter Spring and to Ajara, a skin a load of chimeras, get loads of chimera leather and I've made a full set of chimeric... Well, I think it's just called chimeric leather, chimeric... well, this, whatever, the chimeric set and I've, I think I've got about 80 nature resistance totally unbuffed now with a few other bits and pieces so that's pretty good considering I haven't really properly hardcore started to start farming nature resistance gear because I haven't gone to um, you know farm dungeons or something like that because my next step is to start soloing Marudon for the trinket and a few other pieces that you can get from Marudon which is going to be pretty fun to do I'm going to have to learn how to totally 
I'm just gonna have to learn how to get good at my class again, how to solo, f you know, bosses and stuff like that, and I will probably try and stream that as much as I can, because I think that'd be a cool thing to stream. I'm also doing a lot of Zulga Rub, because I want to get my Zulga Rub rep up, I'm only honoured, like I said before. And obviously I need to get Exalted to get all the cool enchants that you can get, which are going to be useful for Anchorage. And I also want to get a couple of the tier pieces, well not tier pieces, but the Zulga Rub Rogue set pieces, because they're actually better than what I ha currently have. I, I'm only, uh, I'm not really decked out in gear anymore, I only have about... I have some tier 1 gear pieces, and I don't have any gear from Blackwing Lair at all, so the Zulgur Rub gear is actually going to be pretty good for me, because um, I've, I've gone and calculated all that with the you know, coefficiencies and stuff like that. So I want to pick up a cool two two pieces from Zulgur Rub, which make me look pretty cool, and yeah, and get the enchants and everything like that. I'm going to dedicate about, I would say about half an hour a day, maybe a little bit less, to solid light leather farming, because that's one of the main things that is needed on my server on the Alliance side for the war effort. So I'm going to maybe get like, contribute about four stacks of light leather per day, maybe even a little bit more. Um, just to, you know, do my part for the war effort. But again, it's probably going to take a long time for us to actually get Anchorage unlocked on our server. And obviously, during the meantime, do it, trying to do as much Blackwing Learn and as much raid logging as humanly possible. I'm pretty sure my guild raids three times per week, so I'm going to try and turn up for every single raid night. We also do a few pugs here and there. I'm going to try and pug Zulgur up again as much as possible. And just basically any raid, because I still need gear from Anixia, I still need gear from Molten Core. There's a lot of gear pieces that I can still pick up from Phase 1 raids, so I may as well do them and get as much raids done as humanly possible. And then obviously, when Anchorage is finally going to come out, I'm going to try and uh, well do Anchorage, get it completed. Because uh, I haven't fully raided Anchorage. I've done AQ20 a few times on back, you know, in the private server days, but I honestly haven't properly done Anchorage 40, so that's going to be a totally new experience. I'm really looking forward to that, because I haven't experienced those raids, those bosses, or those mechanics, and the raids do look pretty epic and pretty cool, especially the last boss. Safoon looks like a really cool boss fight, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, so I, I basically intend to make as much effort with Classic War as I did in Phase 1, when I was raid logging quite a lot getting really well geared and pretty much, you know, I think I only missed about, I think I had about 90% attendance in phase one, could be wrong, can't really remember. And then obviously, eventually I want to progress into completing Naxxramas, I think I will play Classic WoW now pretty solidly until, you know, until the, the game is totally done. I probably won't play as much during, you know, when Anchorage has been out for like a good couple of months, I'll probably take a few steps back again and maybe play go and play The Witcher 2 or something, or any other games that I want to play. Maybe even uh, do a little bit of, spend a little bit of time on Frost, uh, Warmain's Frostmon server, because I'm going to still play that server a little bit casually on my death night, because I enjoy it so much, um, for when I'm not raiding on Classic, if I have the time to do it. I don't know if I actually will, to be honest, because I still need to play uh, Mass Effect as well. I bought Mass Effect, and I still haven't to uh, totally finished that. I'd like to get that in the bag as well. Anyway, those are basically my plans. When it comes to content, I do intend to kind of return to, I guess, my one well, of my roots, but like the kind of content I was making when Classic Wild was, was released. You know, I will. I have already started, you know, try harding a little bit of rogue theory crafting, doing doing a lot of research on the Classic Wild Rogue Discord because I want to basically just find out what gear pieces are the best, and I'm also looking into information like what are the best frost damaging weapons for Anchorage and I've been looking a little bit into that so in the future I'm probably going to make a few classic wild rogue videos in fact on Thursday which is the next time I'm free I will actually be making a just like a like an essential shopping list kind of video for everything that a rogue needs for Anchorage so you know all the nature resistance gear that you can quickly get frost damage weapons, consumables, all that kind of thing. So that'll be coming very soon and I'll probably casually make a few of those videos here and there. I've also got some other cool video ideas to make this week which are not related to Classic WoW. But anyway, that's where we get in the video there. I've definitely rambled on long enough. My name is Menegold and until my next video, ciao.